Behold, in order to take part in the semi-finals, you will each need to hold one of these two cards. Man, I don't have either of those cards. How am I supposed to win the prize money now? Hey, Joey, bet you wish you had one of these. Yug, are you giving me that card? Well, I would, but then I remembered the time you stole a piece of my Millennium Puzzle. So I figured, no, you don't get my card. Instead, I'm just going to rub it in your face that you're such a loser. I never knew you could be such an asshole. You know what they say, Joey. Payback's a bitch. I've been thinking. I don't know about you two, but I'm not happy being just a minor character. We never get any screen time. All we do is stand in the background and watch people play card games. It's time we took matters into our own hands and made a name for ourselves as main characters. That's dangerous talk, Tristan. We can't risk upsetting the natural order. Who knows what could happen? I don't care. All I know is we deserve to have our very own episode so while the main characters are asleep we're going to have an adventure it'll be just like the goonies can i be cory feldman no i'm cory feldman but you're always cory feldman when do i get to be cory feldman shut up from now on your name is chunk okay it's been 10 minutes and i haven't seen a single dead body i'm starting to think this whole idea was stupid hey we can use this rope to hang bakora then he'll be a dead body that never happened in the Goonies. Well, it should've. It looks like Yugi Moto is struggling to defeat My Valentine. And who can blame him? My Valentine is a seasoned competitor with a long list of victories. Let's take a look at her dueling history. First, she faced Joey Wheeler. And lost. Then she went up against Panic. And lost. Her last match before entering the finals was against Taya Gardner, which of course she must have won. Oh, my mistake. She surrendered. I think I speak for everyone when I ask, what's wrong with this picture? I summon copycat. It gives me the power to copy your catchphrase. In America. Hey, that's my joke. It only works when I say, in America. It loses all meaning when you say it. What's that? I couldn't hear you. I was too busy being American. You're not American! You're not even wearing a flag on your head! You're right. I must have left it back home. In America. Uh oh, it looks like Bandit Keith has snapped and he's being forced to abandon the duel. Burners. This is it, Yug. Only one of us can win this tournament. And even though you're my best friend, I'm not gonna hold back. I'm gonna give it my all. And what's more, I'm gonna beat you. Like hell. Mm -hmm. Face it, Joey, you're a terrible duelist. You only got this far because I've been telling you how to win all the time. I mean, come on. You've got Baby Dragon in your deck. Baby freaking dragon! You probably don't even remember why you entered the tournament in the first place. Sure I do. I entered because... Eh... Uh, you told me to? It was your sister, you silly little man. She needs an operation. Why, is she sick? No, but you will be. Other. Hey, you. Since I lost the match, it's only right that you get the prize money. No, Joey. You take it. How else are you going to afford professional therapy after suffering such a humiliating defeat at my hands? But if I'm going to beat Pegasus, I'm going to have to remember everything Gramps ever taught me about card games. Playing card games is just like making love. You usually do it on a table, and you always feel deep shame when it's finished. Also, the older you get, the less fun it is. So remember, always wear a condom when playing card games. Hmm. I should probably wash my hands before using these. And soon my evil plan to steal an object from a small child will be complete. You mean you arranged this whole tournament just to steal my Millennium Puzzle? Exactly. Did you even consider just asking me for it? I mean, do you have any idea how much time and money you've wasted with this whole facade? People have died because you wanted a necklace. I killed a gay clown for Ra's sake. Hey, it's Mokuba. If I rescue him, then I'll be a hero. And Joey's bootylicious sister will be all over me. Yes, what is it? There has been a breach. Mokuba Kaiba has escaped. I thought I told you never to call me at this number. But I miss you. It feels like we've grown so far apart. That's because I don't love you anymore. We've got you surrounded. Now give the boy to us. Over Mokuba's dead buddy. We can't win like this. Our only hope is to switch minds. That way he won't be able to predict our strategy. Couldn't I just mind crush him? You can't fix all your problems by mind crushing people. Oh, come on. Just one little mind crush. It'll barely hurt him. No, bad Pharaoh. No mind crush. You never let me have my way, do you? You. And over the boy, Tristan, or I'll swallow your soul. But why? Ever since Yugi defeated me in a duel, I've been looking for a new body. One without a soul. Mokubas should do just fine. But why? Because I'm evil. But 
why? I don't know. I'm just evil. What do you expect? But why? Twinkle. I'm bored again. My nipples are sensing that Yugi is in great peril. Mine too. Hey guys, you'll never guess what I've been doing. We don't care. You're my Conceivable, not to mention extremely cheesy. Pegasus, you'll never understand the importance of friendship. As long as Yugi has us, he'll always have the strength to fight. I'm just here for the food. Uh hey Pegasus, remember how I said I was going to kill you last? That's right, Bakora, you did. I lied. No, don't take my Millennium Eye. It goes so well with my outfit. Croquet, what happened to Pegasus? Mr. Pegasus is feeling under the weather. He looks kinda dead. Well, he's not. Now excuse me, I have to go sandpaper my throat. I can't believe Pegasus is dead. He died as he lived, draped in the arms of another man. Let's go snoop through his things. Look, it's Pegasus's blog. Reading this should allow the writers to fill in a bunch of plot holes. We fell in love instantly and decided to get married. Then, when we were standing at the altar, Something very unexpected happened. You exploded. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. Jewish peoples are always trying to come in here and steal my Millennium items. Since you are not Jew, I let you have this one. It will grant you the power to see into people's minds. It's nice. The Millennium Eye gave me the power to see into the world beyond. At long last, I was reunited with you, my love. I thought my dreams had finally come true. But then you exploded again. <laughs> you really need to stop doing that. It says here that Pegasus found a way to bring Cecilia back from the dead using the Millennium Items and Kyber Corp's virtual technology. Man, I've read fanfics that made more sense than this crap. Pegasus Pegasus must have released Grandpa's soul. This is super special awesome. Would you stop saying super special awesome? It stopped being funny 15 episodes ago. Oh, you did not just say that. Get back here. Nobody disses my catchphrase. Someone has stolen a Millennium item. It was probably this little Jew boy. He must be hiding his horns underneath all that hair. I will use my Millennium Key to probe his mind. Just give me a minute. Wa wa we wa. What is this place? Five thousand years ago, Egyptian kings played a game of great and terrible power. These shadow games were played with real monsters and real magic. But these games erupted into a war that threatened to destroy the world. And so all the monsters were locked away inside these stone tablets. Are you trying to tell me this show actually has a plot? Oh no! You have angered the Dark Magician. Our only hope is to summon the Blue Eyes White Dragon. No. No, don't. Why not? That's Kaiba's monster. I'm not gonna let myself get saved by that. Yugi Moto, you are now officially king of card games. As winner of the Duelist Kingdom tournament, I bestow upon you this extremely girly card. Also, here's three million dollars. Yoink! Now you can pay for your sister's operation. Screw my sister, I have money. You each have five minutes to get off the island before we release the hounds. Big brother, where are you? I'm starting to develop abandonment issues. Oh, face it, kid. Kaiba never loved you. Uh, Seto, it's you. And you're smiling. Uh, <laughs> stop smiling, big brother. It's really creepy. Kaiba's smiling? That's the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Whenever Kaiba smiles, a puppy dies. Yugi, because of the circumstances, our last duel was not conclusive. Perhaps the next time we duel, we will finally learn which of us is truly superior. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the king of card games. And besides, I already beat you in the first episode. What's your point? My point is, you're never going to beat me. So just get over it. I hate you so much. Oh. Who's that? <laughs> My name's Rebecca. I'm eight years old, and I'm the number one ranked duelist in America. That's impossible. Only grown-ups are allowed to play children's card games. I'm looking for Solomon Moto. Who the hell is Solomon Moto? Yugi, that's your grandpa. He has a name? You stole my blue-eyed white dragon. Oh, she's so cute. She wasn't talking to you. Nah, the bear is possessed. <laughs> Don't be silly. It's just a regular teddy bear. Well, okay, but it did seem kind of like... You'll be the first to die.
I want you to return the card you stole from me. You'll never get it back. It's mine. Mine, I tell you. What my grandpa's trying to say is that he would never steal a card from another duelist. You must be mistaken. It's mine. All mine. I say, Solomon, let's have a card game to decide which one of us gets to live. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. Let's do it. I am so sick of your lying lies, you big fat liar. Shut up, you hussy. Yugi's grandpa would never lie. He's the wisest man I've ever met. Where am I? What day? is it? Grandpa! Arthur, is that really you? Yes, I've decided to show up at the last minute in order to tie up all the loose ends. Rebecca, did you know that Yugi actually won the duel? Grandpa, I won! Take a look at this card. It's called Soul Release. If Yugi had played this, you would have lost. But he didn't play it! He surrendered! Yes, but he could have won. Therefore, he was the winner. But Yugi lost! And that is why he won. I can't believe the five of you tried to take over my company. And don't forget how they kidnapped me. Yeah, that too. Mr. Kaiba, please let us explain. We were just pretending to work for Pegasus. I instantly forgive you, but I'm still pretty sore about that whole trying to kill me thing. By the way, we finished work on your new virtual card game system. Feel free to test it out. If you dare. Okay, thanks. Wait, Seto, it's clearly a trap. Why are you being so gullible and out of character? Initiate logon sequence. We're sorry. The server you're attempting to join is currently experiencing loading issues. Please stand by until we correct this problem. Hey, Mom, you'll never guess what just happened. Oh, hi, Dad. Can you put Mom on the line? What do you mean she's asleep? Wake her up, then. Okay, Gramps, hand over all your money and Tristan won't have to break your kneecaps. Whoever you are, please don't hurt me. Ah. Uh. Yugi, before you go, there's something I need to tell you. Don't worry, Taya. I know all about it. Really? Yeah. You're in love with me, right? Actually, I'm in love with your sexy alter ego. Oh. Well, this is kind of awkward. Hello, I'm Princess Adina. This is just wrong. I've never been more traumatized in my entire life. Why would my brother create something so twisted? Now do you see why we hate him so much? Devour the question. Um, yes? Just what the hell are you anyway? Are you a boy or a girl? Maybe it's a she-male. You know, like Bakura. Whatever it is, it's going to haunt my dreams for the rest of my life. Excuse me, brave heroes, I'm trying to tell you about the suffering of my people. I think it's pretty obvious why your people are suffering. Their ruler is a transvestite. They got Princess Adina. Thank God for that. She was really freaking me out. Oh no, they kidnapped Mokuba. Why the heck was Mokuba dressed like you? Um... Well, let's trade outfits. I've always wanted to look pretty. If we're out of the video game, you guys can't do a thing to me. Actually, we can still beat the crap out of you. Oh, yeah. Hold still, you little punk. Ow, my ribs. Ow, my other ribs. Tristan, why are you punching him? I don't know. What's wrong with your grandpa? Is he dying? Tell me he's dying. You know, Taya, we could kill him right now and nobody would have to know about it. You must be Yugi. My fangirls have told me all about you. They say you're almost as pretty as me. Hey, Dice Boy, what do they say about me? Point, point. They say you're a loser with a fetish for dressing up like animals. I am not a loser, and I'll prove it by challenging you to a children's card game. I accept, but if I win, then you have to be my slave. Lucky bastard! And if I win, then you have to close your game shop. Joey, don't you think that's a little extreme? You can't put somebody out of business just because you're jealous. I'm not jealous. What does he have that I don't have, aside from the fangirls? and the pretty hair, and those gorgeous green eyes. Don't forget my sweet ass. Yeah, and a sweet ass, but other than that, he's got nothing. Since you lost, you have to do whatever I want. Put it on. This is slightly more humiliating than playing a children's card game. Duke Devlin, you've gone too far. How dare you force Joey to uphold his end of the bargain. I challenge you to a game. And if I win, then Joey is no longer your slave. Fine by me. But if you lose, then you must swear on the life of your grandfather that you'll never play card games ever again. Big deal. He'll be dead by the end of the month. We'll play Dungeon Dice Monsters, a game of my own creation. We each take it in turns to draw a dice. So it's just like Duel Monsters. Then we use our dice to summon summon holographic monsters to the field. So it's just like Duel Monsters. Both opponents are given three hard points, and when they run out, the game is- So it's just like Duel Monsters. Hey, stop it! My game is nothing like Duel Monsters. Prove it then! 
My game uses dice. Burn the witch! I've waited a long time for this moment, Yugi. I'm gonna prove to the world that you're a cheater by beating you in a game of my own creation. You wanna run that by me one more time? There's like no way you could have beaten Pegasus without cheating. He was my idol. I've tried my whole life to be just as masculine as he is. That would explain a lot. I visited him before the Duelist Kingdom tournament to demonstrate my game. He was totally awesome. It was like he'd played Dungeon Dice Monsters his whole life. That's probably because he had. Your game is exactly like Duel Monsters. Congratulations, Dookie Boy. This is just what I've been looking for. Dungeon Dice Monsters will make my card game look exciting by comparison. I'll begin funding you immediately. Dungeon Dice Monsters was set to take the world by storm, but then you defeated Pegasus in a children's card game, and he dropped off the face of the earth. You must have cheated. It's the only explanation. Or maybe Pegasus just realized your game sucks ass. In order to tell your future, I'll need you to give me your necklace. My puzzle? No way. Without it, I can't pretend to be good at card games. Look, do you want your damn fortune told or not? Well, okay then. I predict that you are a gullible idiot. In America! Mwahahaha! In America! Yugi, I hate to break this to you, but you totally deserved that! I see you've fallen right into my trap! In America! Now let's have a children's card game to decide who gets to keep your Millennium item! But you've already stolen it from me. If anything, I should be challenging you! Look, can we just play the card game? You're new to this whole stealing thing, aren't you? Yeah? How's it hanging, dude? What? the hell did you just say to me? I'm trying to sound more American, so people won't pick on me as much. Well, stop it. You sound like you're from the 1970s. Oh, come on, baby. Cut me some slack. Let's hang out together. It'll be totally cool. Somebody help! Bakura's gone insane! My Millennium Necklace gives me the power to see the future, and also to break the fourth wall. That's pretty neat. What else can you see? In about five seconds, you will be interrupted by the opening credits. What the hell are you talking about? Kawaii! What the hell do you want? Hello, Kaiba. This is a Shizu Ishtar. Stop whatever you're doing and look at the TV right now. I personally invite Seto Kaiba to come to my museum. What the hell was that? You see, Kaiba, I called you on the phone specifically so that you would hear my invitation on the television. Why didn't you just invite me over the phone? Because I have magical powers. You do realize you're paying for this call, right? Let me get this straight. It's been 24 episodes, and we're only just now explaining the plot. Does J.J. Abrams write this show or something? This giant rock depicts the duel between the pharaoh and his high priest. What the hell? He looks just like Yugi. But what does this mean? It means your arch-rival Yugi Moto is a reincarnation of the pharaoh, and that history is about to repeat itself. Are you trying to tell me that Yugi and I are destined to play card games with each other for eternity? Yes. Best? destiny ever. Fortunately, we will never know who won that fateful duel, because their name is hidden by ancient Egyptian spoiler tags. Now, do you believe me, Kaiba? Since I'm the most skeptical person on the planet, I'm going to say no. I'll be leaving now. Wait, Kaiba. Don't you want to know about the powerful cards I promised you? You never said anything about powerful cards. Well, I meant to. Behold, Kaiba, the three Egyptian god cards. Obelisk the Tormentor, Slifer the Executive Producer, and Mega Ultra Chicken. Mega Ultra Chicken? That's just dumb. It is you who is dumb. Pegasus created them to be the most powerful cards in Duel Monsters. If these cards are so great, why didn't Pegasus use them in Season 1? Because the writers hadn't thought of them yet. Why should I help you? Because if you do, I'll give you this. Can it be? Obelisk the Tormentor. You may borrow this card during the tournament, but I shall expect it back. You do realize I'm just gonna keep this, right? I mean, there's no way I'd ever return a card this valuable. Shit. I hadn't thought of that. Your psychic powers are surprisingly lame. I see everything. I can even see into your future. In ten years, you will open a duelist academy that teaches children how to play card games. And you will look exactly the same as you do now. Well, now I know you're full of crap. Why are you so excited about cleaning crap off the floor, Joey? Because my little sister's having her eye operation. She's gonna be able to see. Groovy. Does that mean you used the prize money to pay for it? Nah, my 
mom's paying for the operation. I spent the prize money on children's trading cards. Hey, Taya. Hey, what's up, Yugi? I have a hypothetical question. Would you, by any chance ever consider going on a date with me? I mean, just as a friend. Not in a million years. Why? Damn it. I'll have to go with plan B. Hey, Taya, the Pharaoh wants to go out with you. What? The Pharaoh? Yeah, he's pretty shy about it, so he wanted me to ask you for him. That's so sweet. I never knew he could be so romantic. Yeah, he's a regular Casanova. Now, will you go out with him or not? Well, it seems a bit weird. I mean, it'll be kind of like going out with you. So it's a date. See you tomorrow, Taya. Wait, I didn't say yes. Sorry, can't hear you. The rain is really loud. What have I gotten myself into? This is a dream come true. I can't believe I'm on a date with the Pharaoh. I've got to play it cool. That means no friendship speeches. No matter how tempting it is, I mustn't do a friendship speech. I mustn't. Hey, Taya, what do you think of- Friendship is the best thing ever. Don't you agree? Damn it. This has been the best night of my life. I went on a date with a hot stud, and I kicked a guy's ass at DDR. What more could a girl ask for? By the way, why didn't you do anything when he was beating the crap out of me? I thought it was part of the game. But he was attacking me. I know. It looked like fun.